As a new type of artillery in the Soviet Union during World War II, the Katyusha rocket launcher played a huge role in the Soviet-German War and is still in service in some countries or regions today. It is a durable weapon that has stood the test of time. However, the Katyusha rocket launcher also has its flaws. Its salvo firepower is strong, but its single-shot firepower is relatively weak. In July 1942, the Soviet Union began using the M-30 rocket, which had a 28.9 Kialos explosive, with explosive power even stronger than the 152 Mimiril howitzer. However, the early launch device was rail-based and the military hoped to obtain a more advanced rocket launcher. The relevant factories began working on the design in August, and this is the KS-108 self-propelled rocket launcher. The KS-108 is an innovative weapon. First of all, it requires the creation of a self-propelled weapon based on the existing automobile chassis. In order to improve the range and accuracy of the projectiles, the launch method has abandoned the original rail-based system and adopted a launch tube. This was a very advanced design during World War II and already had some characteristics of post-war rocket artillery systems. The new rocket launcher still uses the M30 ammunition, but its tubular launch method is slightly different. The launch tube is 4 meters long and the bottom is sealed during launch. After the rocket is ignited, the intense gas ejected gradually increases the chamber pressure, which helps to improve the initial velocity of the ammunition. The launch principle is somewhat similar to a mortar, which also causes classification issues for this artillery. It was once named the Jet Mortar, but let's not get caught up in the naming issue. Rockets launched in this way do indeed have better combat performance. The M30 ammunition weighs 72 kilogors. When using the old launch method, the maximum flight speed of the projectile is only about 190, 195 meters per second, and the maximum range is only about 2,800 meters. Even with the TS-30 modified projectile with a fairing, the maximum range is only about 3,500 meters. In addition to modifying the launch method, the designers also made appropriate modifications to the rocket itself to meet the requirements of the tubular launch. It is expected that the new ammunition will achieve a maximum range of 5,000 meters. In actual tests, the range of the ammunition has been improved. When using unmodified M30 ammunition, the range has increased by about 700-800 meters. Subsequently, a MK-30 rocket with spin stabilization capability was also studied, and it is expected that the range will be further increased to 6,400 meters. However, overall, the range of the rockets did not reach the expected level, and the progress in ammunition development became a fatal blow to the project later on. The KS-108 self-propelled rocket launcher uses the ZIS-6 three-axle truck chassis with four launch tubes divided into upper and lower rows, with the two launch tubes in the upper row positioned further back. The launch tubes on the prototype vehicle only have elevation adjustment capability, and the rear is equipped with a retractable bottom plate cushioning structure, which can directly transfer the recoil force during firing to the ground. The elevation range of the barrel is 15 de Guart and 45 de, and it is expected that the production model will have directional adjustment capability. The rocket launcher uses electric ignition, and all electrical equipment is on the vehicle. The front driver's cab is sealed and protected to prevent damage to the crew from the rocket's exhaust flame during launch. In actual tests, the KS-108 demonstrated better operational performance than the Katyusha rocket launcher. The vehicle is stable during launch and easy to operate. The only drawback is that while the launch vehicle is ready, the ammunition is slow to arrive. It is precisely because of the delay in ammunition that the KS-108 was completely abandoned in 1943. After all, a rocket launcher without suitable ammunition has no practical value. It was temporarily replaced by the BM-3112, which can also launch M-30 ammunition. As for the KS-108, only one photo, the first photo in this article, has been passed down, and the prototype vehicle was dismantled in 1943. 
From the performance of the rocket launcher alone, the KS-108 was definitely an advanced weapon during World War II, more advanced than the rail-based rocket launchers widely used at the same time. If it had the opportunity to serve, it would undoubtedly become another great killer of the Soviet Union.